Hello friends in this video we will insert data into database by using stored procedure in PHP script with Ajax jQuery. Here we can insert data by clicking on this add button. So we have write jQuery code on this button on click event. So we have write dollar action which is an if button with click event. So when we have click on this button then this code will execute. Under this we have write variable first name is equal to dollar first name with value method. This code will get value of first name text box and store into this first name variable. Then after we have write variable last name is equal to dollar last name with value method. This code will get value of last name text box and store into this last name variable. After this we have write variable it is equal to dollar user id with value method. This code will get value of hidden user id tag and store into this id variable. Then after we have write variable action is equal to dollar action with text method. This code will get text of action button and store into this action variable. Now we have write of statement with condition like first name variable not equal to blank and last name variable is not equal to blank. This condition will check if both variable has some value then it will execute if block of code otherwise it will execute else block of code. Suppose both variable or one of the variable has no value then it will execute else block of code and under this block we have write alert message with text like both fields are required. But suppose both variable has value then it will execute if block of code and under this block we have write dollar dot ajax request and under this request we have write url set to action dot php. Here we have send ajax request to action.php page. Then after we have write method set to post, here we have set post method for send data to the server. After this we have write data option and under this we have write first name, last name, it an action variable. We will send this data to server. Lastly in Ajax request we have write success callback function. If request sent successfully then this function will be called and this function will receive data from server which is stored under data argument. Under this variable we have write alert with argument like data, which data we will receive will pop on web page and then after we have called fetch user function. It will update data and division tag with result id. Now we have go to action.php page and on this page first we have write if statement with condition like set function with argument like dollar post action variable. This condition will check value of this variable is set or not. If value is set then it will execute if block of code and under this block first we have make database connection. So we have write dollar connect variable is equal to miscly connect function with for argument like host set to locale lost, username set to root, password set to blank and database name set to crud. After making database connection we have write if statement with condition like dollar post action variable is equal to add. This condition will check if dollar post action variable value is equal to add then it will execute if block of code. Under this block we have first write first name variable is equal to miscly real escape string function with two argument. In first argument we have write database connection string dollar connect variable and in second argument we have write dollar post first name variable. This function will remove escape from string and store clean text into dollar first name variable. Same way we have write dollar last name variable is equal to miscly real escape string function with two argument. In first argument we have write database connection string and in second argument we have write dollar post last name variable. This function will remove escape from this variable value and store clean text into dollar last name variable. Now we want to create stored procedure for insert data into users table. So we have write dollar procedure variable is equal to create procedure with insert user which is name of stored procedure. 
Here we have right input variable first name varchar250 and last name varchar250. This is input variable which we have defined for input value into his store procedure. Then after we have write begin and end statement and between this statement we have write insert query like insert into users with columns like first name, last name and values like first name and last name input variable which we have defined at starting of create procedure statement. So our stored procedure is ready for insert data. So now we have write if statement with condition like mistly query function with two argument like dollar connect variable and query like drop procedure if exists insert user. This condition will drop insert user stored procedure if it is exists and execute if block of code. Under this block we have write of statement with condition like miscly query function with two argument like dollar connect variable which is database connection string and dollar procedure variable in which we have store insert user stored procedure. This function will create insert user stored procedure and if stored procedure created successfully then it will execute if block of code. Under this block we have write dollar query variable is equal to call insert user stored procedure with two input variable like dollar first name and dollar last name variable. By using call statement we can call stored procedure. Now we want to execute this stored procedure query, so we have write miscly query function with two argument like database connection string dollar connect variable and in second argument we have write dollar query variable. This function will execute stored procedure query and data will be inserted into table. Then after we have write echo statement with text like data inserted. This message will be appeared on web page after data inserted into table. So friends our code is ready for how to use stored procedure for insert data with Ajax jQuery and PHP script. So we have saved this code on check output in browser. Friends you can see that one form with two text box for entering first name and last name. When we have directly click on add button then it pop us alert box with message like both field are required. So in first name we have write Martin and in last name we have write Smith and click on add button. After clicking on add button alert pop up message appear on web page with message like data inserted and below form we can see Martin Smith data under table with update and delete button. So our code is working on how to use stored procedure for insert data into table and PHP script with Ajax request. In next video we will discuss how to use stored procedure for update data and PHP script with Ajax request.